Why is football important to you? जो फुटबॉल नहीं खेलते हैं वो बहुत जल्दी उनका बहुत जल्दी शादी कर देते हैं अपना लाइफ में कुछ करना चाहते हैं फुटबॉल से हम लोग कहीं बाहर जा सकते हैं अपना भारत का नाम भी ऊंचा करना चाहते हैं My name is Franz Gastler. I'm the founder of UA India. I'm an American citizen. I've been living in India now for seven years, and I've been living in a tribal village in Jharkhand for the last five years. We started this program five years ago. I started it with three friends. For two years, we used our own money to fund it, and then we won a grant from Nike. We've been getting some funding from uh, private foundations. <laughs> Teaching football to girls as a platform to uh, combat child marriage, human trafficking, and illiteracy among tribal girls and and uh, scheduled caste girls. <laughs> I wound up in this village mostly by coincidence. I was a business consultant in Delhi. I got a chance to work for an NGO. I thought I would come here for three months, and then I've ended up staying here for about five years. I left the NGO that I've been working with and decided to uh, start teaching English to kids and and using uh, football to organize kids. We started focusing on girls because the girls were just more, much more committed than the boys. Uh, boys would come every once in a while, and then you'd never know when they were going to come. And the girls were coming every single day. Sometimes at, at 4:30 or or 5 o'clock in the morning, all of these girls, because they're they're so hungry to learn, uh, they're so. Uh, committed to improving their lives and they're so dedicated to each other. If, if you teach a girl one thing, she teaches her community. Whereas if you teach a boy something, you teach an individual. So our, our plans with these girls are to uh, keep on growing the program and try to help other people around India do what it is that we're doing. Our, our philosophy is that we're focusing on girls because uh, girls and boys here are not equal. Uh, well, boys play, girls work. Families invest in the boys, but they don't invest in the girls. Uh, everything a girl does has got to be uh, something for her family. Um, so we're focusing on on building these girls up, on uh, creating team structures where the girls come together and support each other, and creating a positive environment where these girls can um, explore their talents and and flourish and have a better future. Are you a good football player? To a particular Yes. Yeah. A big particular Yes, sir. <laughs> now not, but I want to make. The reaction of parents is across the board. You find some parents who are very negative, and some who are very positive, and some who are in between.
generally, if a girl was being beaten before by her family, she's still getting beaten now. Uh, but she is getting stronger and stronger, and she's able to uh, stand up for herself. Uh, girls with more positive parents are supporting this a lot. And in general, we, we get more resistance from the mothers than from the fathers because life in India, uh, in rural India, for a woman is very tough. Uh, the women do all the heavy lifting and all the hard work. They need their daughters around to help them, and if the daughters are out playing football, then the moms have to do more work. So it's a kind of negotiation, a constant negotiation between the girls and their mothers, uh, because the girls want to be out here playing and the girls want to be studying, but a lot of forces in their society are trying to hold them back from doing that. I'm surprised but happy that she's, um, you know, their parents have, have been convinced that what she's doing is worthwhile enough that they shouldn't get her married. So, I was thinking about Sita and that she was going to get married soon, or that she was going to get married with us, or that she was going to get married with us. I thought she was going to get married for 2-3 years. Where are we right now? Uh, uh, we are in uh, my, my mom. Hi. We go to the house. We go to the house. We go a lot to these girls that they're being recognized because in a lot of ways they feel completely anonymous. Uh, these girls get uh, they get verbally you know, abused and teased and harassed for, for coming to football every day. People get, get in fights with their families about uh, the shorts and t-shirts they're wearing because they're not wearing traditional clothes. Football club is where football सिखाई जाते हैं फुटबॉल के द्वारा बहुत सी चीजें सिखाई जाती हैं उसमें हम लोगों को पढ़ाई आई प्ले इन यूएस बिकॉज इट इज नॉट लाइक गवर्नमेंट 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 डोंट अंडरस्टैंड अस बट यू आर अंडरस्टैंड यू आर इज गुड फॉर अस बहुत से मैचेस जीत के आए हैं और वे उनमें बहुत सी कॉन्फिडेंस है वे आगे बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं। Before I join Ua, I have only five six friends, but then when I when I join Ua, I have fifty sixty friends. Girls, but they don't uh, play in you. They forget his. Uh, they forget them opportunity, and uh, they have a boring life. And uh, whose whose girls join you? Uh, we have one. We saw that in public in Jharkhand, uh, in India, that I am the best, and we are. Got 250 girls here. Uh, the biggest thing that they're they're doing is trying to get themselves educated and avoid getting married at age 14 or 15. Uh, these girls have have done great things. 
on the field, but I'm even prouder of what they've done off the field. These girls are getting back into school. Uh, these girls are, are tutoring each other in our classrooms and generally uh, trying to become educated so that they can have a better future. Madam Shah, Madam Shah, uh, some land to build a football academy to help um, uh, these girls become great footballers and also uh, to try to help them become employable and get into a good university. Where is Spain? Spain calls them a good. Yes, it is. Do you want to go to Spain? Do you want to go to Spain? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we want to Spain. Why? Why do you want to go to Spain? If we go to Spain, our mother and father will be very happy. Yes. We will go there and we will go to my house. My father will also go there. We will go to the next day and we will go to the next day. We will go to the next day. Yes. Uh, because... I'm not. Uh, I want to go to Spain because I saw how is it. Okay, we can talk about No, sadly. Why are so many people here? They are happy to their uh, daughter going to other place to play football. And they are to they be in the match. Alright. Can you show me? On the field, we've had uh, four girls on the Indian national team and in the national Indian national camp. They've been abroad to play and represent India. They've been on the state teams, uh, more than 20 of them. Uh, now, 18 girls and, and one of their uh, young coaches have been to Spain and represented the country there. We're running a, a small program in a Bombay slum, and it was there that we initially uh, met the people who gave us the opportunity to come here to come to Spain. Um, there were some people from Spain who were on a tour through a slum, and they asked if if we wanted to take a team to Spain. So it was through their hard work that we were able to get to Spain. For us, getting their, their paperwork to get to Spain was a massive, massive challenge. Uh, the girls were, were uh, slapped around and uh, slapped around and abused by the local panchayat officials when they went to go get their birth certificates. 
the local panchayat officials took, took bribes from them and made them sweep the floors. Um, finally, but, uh, finally we got the, that uh, work done and we were able to get the passports done in three days and then we were able to get the visas done in five days. So we didn't even think we were going to be able to go to Spain uh, because the, the initial uh, paperwork took so long to get. When these girls got to Spain, though, they were treated like they were famous. Everybody knew their name in San Sebastián. Uh, in the Basque country, they had already been on TV, on the radio, in the news, in newspapers. Uh, literally, everybody knew them. Uh, there were boys on the street who were who were cheering India and clapping as these girls went by. So it was uh, seeing these girls in Spain was like a scene out of a movie. Um, they were. It was kind of a rags to riches story. Girls won third place. They were absolutely ecstatic. They were so much fun to watch. They were ecstatic every time they got gold. They'd be jumping in the air and you know, grabbing onto each other and rolling on the ground.